The unthinkable is about to happen. But picture this for a moment and comment below and let me know if any of this stuff would make you panic. But the stock market sells off, the housing market crashes another 30%, inflation remains stable at 6% or higher, beer sales plummet, layoffs increase, households stop buying excess groceries, women buy more lipstick and makeup, and men simply stop buying underwear. Sounds scary, right? Well, the reality of this situation is that we are already experiencing all of this. This is not a plot to a terrible movie. This is what is happening right now, and this has millions and millions of Americans panicking as we speak. Check this out. Let me show you this. Right here. What crappy beer demand tells us about the economy. This is true. What is happening right now is scary. And I, I want to explain what's going on. Okay, look at some of these numbers. Okay, look at this. It says right here, people aren't buying as much beer as they used to, and it's not a great indicator for the economy. But this right here, US beer shipment to wholesalers declined 14.1% in December 2022 compared to the year prior. This is according to a Wells Fargo a note published on January 27th. Compared to 2020, shipping volume is down 19.4%. We saw the lowest volume since 2012 in December. That's interesting. But what's also very interesting is what people are deciding to buy because this is actually very scary. Okay, it's, it's, I think this is somewhat, I think this is somewhat interesting what's happening, all right? Because look at this. I wanna show you this. What people are buying, okay, is this. They're moving away from the, the 30 packs and they're buying the 12 packs. That's what they're buying. They, they don't want the, the 30 packs anymore. They want the smaller packs of beer. Not only that, they're also moving away from the more expensive beer and they're going for the more economical brands, which is why they're saying that the below premium beers are the only ones that are seeing an increase in demand. That's interesting, okay? Beer sales are telling us where the economy's headed, but it's not just beer sales. Check this out, makeup. What is going on with makeup? How can makeup tell us where we are headed in this economy? And why is this such a, a big thing? Well, look at this. It says lipstick. The theory was born during the 2001 recession when Estee Lauder heir and chairman Leonard Lauder noticed that lipstick sales had still managed to climb. The same was true even from 1929 to 1933 during the Great Depression. Lipstick sales rose, makeup rose, but why? Says the phenomenon known as the lipstick index in which purchases of cosmetic are inversely correlated with the health of the economy remains true today, okay? Now, it also says sales for lip makeup spiked 48% in the first quarter of 2022, year over year. Why would people buy more makeup, okay, during a recession? According to reports, it is because people feel better about themselves, okay? They like to wear makeup, they feel better. They are struggling, they are down on themselves because they don't have a lot of money. The economy's in shambles. Maybe they lost their job, whatever it may be, they feel better. So that's a good thing. We want people to feel better and feel happier. But it doesn't stop there. Remember when I said, men, stop buying underwear. Yes, this is true. Look at this. Men's underwear. In 2008, as the nation spiraled into the Great Recession, the head of the Federal Reserve at the time pointed to one product seen as a good economic omen, men's underwear. It says Alan Greenspan told NPR reporter that men tend to forego buying new underpants during a recession because it's less obvious to others when it's time for a new pair. You need clothes on the outside, the reporter recalled Greenspan saying. Interesting. So men stop buying underwear because we're in a recession. But does it stop there? No. Look at this. It says romance. Romance spikes during a recession. 
As the markets fell in 2009, the website Match uh, posted its strongest fourth quarter earnings in seven years. During the pandemic, uh, Bumble and Tinder both soared as singles flocked to the apps while they were stuck at home. People still need love and relationships in a recession. That's true. That is very, very true. People don't want to be alone. Well, guess what? Guess what these people are doing? Well, they're not going to restaurants. In a recession, you're not going to a restaurant. You're not spending and tipping and going and doing all this thing and living a lavish lifestyle. No, you're staying at home cooking a meal. But what kind of meal are you cooking? Chances are it's going to be something that is very frugal, like macaroni and cheese. Look at this. Frozen pizza and mac and cheese. When money is tight and eating out is not an option, consumers tend to be strategic about how they spend in grocery stores. They often skip the fresh food aisles and go straight to the freezer section. Kraft saw, a, saw sales rise in 2009 as more people bought DiGiorno and opted for boxed macaroni and cheese. A similar trend is happening now. Inflation is driving consumers to store brand items to shave off a few dollars. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. And I was reading this thinking, are people really doing that? And guess what? Guess what? I decided to have for lunch today with my son, my three-year-old. We had dino nuggets. We didn't go out to have some fancy lunch. No, we had dino nuggets. Dino nuggets and macaroni and cheese, craft macaroni and cheese to be exact. That's what we had. But again, if this isn't bad enough, okay? All this stuff is horrible. We are not, <laughs> men aren't buying underwear, right? New underwear. If they have holes in it, so what? So be it. No one's going to see, right? Well, except for maybe tomorrow on Valentine's Day, but outside of that, no one's going to see. So we're not buying underwear. Women are buying more makeup. We're not spending as much money on beer. Or if we are, we're buying the less expensive beer, which means we can get more. That's what we're doing. But again, why? Why are we doing this? Is it because we just don't have a lot of money? Well, yeah, because if things weren't bad enough, look at this. According to multiple reports, we are now seeing tax refunds are coming in less than what they were last year. Yeah, it's not a joke. They are coming in less. We have less money. So far this year, the IRS has reported that they have issued 8 million refunds so far. And of those 8 million refunds, the average refund amount is $1,963 right here. This is as of February 3rd, all right? This is down about 10.8% uh, from last year where we received $2,201 from the same period. Now, what's even more interesting is that we are now seeing that the, again, the amount of taxpayers getting a refund this year increase so far. So more people are getting a refund, but they're getting less. According to reports, 48% have received a refund compared to last year at the same time but only 33% of people received a refund. That's interesting. But this is why the panic is setting in. People are not spending money like they used to. Don't have money like we used to. We don't have those stimulus checks. We don't have the, the increase in the, the uh, expanded child tax credit payments. We don't have that. If we got children, we're getting $2,000 per child. That's it. Not $3,600, not $3,000. We're not getting monthly payments. Right? There's nothing coming for you know, uh, unemployment. There's no enhanced unemployment, no additional PPP loans. We're not getting that stuff. So this is why the unthinkable is happening. People are not spending money on things that they used to, which a lot of people thought, oh, we have to buy a house. We need one. This is something that is recession proof. No, homes are not recession proof. A home is not. Okay. Now, I don't want to give you financial advice, but some say an investment property potentially is recession proof. A home? No. If you are living in a home that you own yourself, okay, chances are it's cost you more money, right? It's just the way it is. But again, this is why the panic is setting in because now we're starting to get those reports that housing is crashing more than they're expected. Inflation potentially is going back up, not down, right? Beer sales are plummeting, especially when we just had the Super Bowl and beer sales are coming down. Layoffs are increasing, right? This is a crazy economy that we're in right now. 
And this is why I say you must be prepared. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. Also do me one favor, go ahead, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.